This is for Monday, September what? September 1? Uh, maybe September 2. Let me see. Monday, September 2. September 1st is a Sunday. All right. Thank you for joining us for a moment in the Word. That's the ministry of First Baptist Church of Pawnee, and I'm John Coker. You ever try to sleep at night whenever problems have come up? Have you noticed how that your mind always seems to go to the problem and keeps you awake? And yet here we have David where there's a rebellion that's been fomented and even those who are on his side are worried about it. They're talking about the problem. And yet listen to what David says here in the very last part of this particular psalm, Psalm chapter 4. This is verse 8. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The previous couple of verses, it says, many have said, uh, who will show us any good? You know, uh, problem focus. And yet, David's statement is the very next verse. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. And so, they focused upon the problem, and David focused upon prayer. A consistent prayer life is the way that you and I can lie down in peace at night and rest. Um, makes you think about Jesus. Um, Jesus was tired, and he's on the Sea of Galilee, and there's a huge storm, and he's in the bottom of the boat asleep. Professional fishermen are scared of drowning. And Jesus is sleeping. Well, okay, that was Jesus. Well, Jesus passed that on to the apostle Peter and the other disciples. He gave them the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit is peace. And they had been serving God for a while. And James had already been put to death. And now Peter was next. And he was going to be put to death the next day. And an angel had to wake him up. He was asleep between two guards. That's because Peter had cultivated a life of prayer. And so if your focus is prayer and your focus is not your problems, you'll sleep better at night. Let's cultivate a life where we consistently have a first response of taking our problems to the Lord in prayer instead of making it a last resort. It really bothers me when sometimes I hear somebody say after they've tried all kinds of things, well, the only thing we can do now is pray. Come on, man. Do that first. Make it a way of life. And you'll have that peace that passes all understanding. Jesus said this, my peace I leave with you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Don't let your heart be troubled and don't let it be afraid. Let Jesus give you his peace, but you got to spend time with him and give him the chance. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you.